and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some more Soul Tide Treachery. We're kind of playing our favorites here on Friday. And as y'all know, this is uh, in particular my favorite deck to play. I'm making one change since the last few times we've been playing it. I decided to take out the Immortal Sun. Um, basically, we haven't been really running into like the real Planeswalker heavy control decks very much at all in this format. And even like even if we do, those matchups are still kind of okay for us anyway. Like we like they're still I mean they're honestly still pretty good for us because we got the card advantage with Risen Reef. And we got Agent of Treacheries at the top end just to steal the Planeswalkers anyway. So instead, I'm getting another Prime Speaker Vanifar in here, getting a second one of these. This is a, a good blocker against aggro, being a 2-4. Um, but then also, I really like uh, activating Vanifar and turning our 7 two-mana creatures into Risen Reefs. Or, you know, maybe against aggro, we need to turn Risen Reef into Chupacabra or... Just all the cool things that we can do. You know, we can turn one of these into a mirror image to copy something or a Risen Reef into a Spark Double. Um, you know, turn Chupacabra into these awesome five mana cards or, you know, Cavalier into Moldratha. We get to just do so much so much cool stuff with Vanifar. So I'm getting a second one in here instead of that Immortal Sun. But anyway, yeah, this is just a, a, just a really fun value deck. Um, you know, Yurok with Agent of Treachery, of course, is just pretty insane. So that's kind of what we're doing here. And then we can copy Agent of Treachery with these things. Um, you know, same with Quasi-Duplicate. And yeah, it's just a pretty cool deck. So let's go ahead and play some games here in Mythic. Let's see how we do. Definitely have had a good day in Mythic. You know, 3-1, 3-2, 2-2. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with those. Um, I got pretty unlucky with my second loss there in Esper Mill. But yeah, we'll play four or five matches, depending on how long they go. Um, and yeah, we're going to get some Soul Tide Treachery here. So where are we at? So we're starting at number 476. Before playing, like at the very beginning of the day, we were at like number like 1,000 or 1,100. I think maybe 1,100. So we've ranked up. So even though we're uh, 1, 2, 3, we're 3 wins above 500. And so ranked up a good amount there. I'll just shock in here. We're going to have to shock in next turn anyway. All right, land drops. Land drops. Yeah. Land drops are falling on my head. All right, fast start already. Dang, I should just play your rock. But yeah, I kind of want to play Vandifar, but we just have no need for Vandifar right now. This curve. Now I can spark double your rock. Now we're just looking for more lands and agent of treacheries, basically. Uh, it's Nexus. All right, so what's our fastest clock against Nexus? Is it just going Cavalier Thorns here? Yeah. Well, let's do the Risen Reef triggers first so I can see what we get. We haven't hit spells or lands in a long time. Good. So there's a there's a land we can play untapped. Um that's gonna come into play untapped. Now we got blue and green. That worked. So, okay, so there's something wrong with Deckmaster. I 
I shall miss your company. All right, so we have one agent of treachery in the graveyard. Of course, Moldrotha can help us with that. Okay, deck deck master's working just fine. For other people, it's just shadow. Huh. Uh, what? That's our fourth turn. Cause yeah, they've they played three turns. We were on the play. That was our fourth turn. It's a pretty good fourth turn. <laughs> three six. Nine, eleven. All right, we're looking at eleven mana right now. Take action, scry bottom. Uh, we'll keep that there. So we do want just lands, but then we also want to find, also want to find agent of treachery. All right, that's that's good. That's like the other agent of treachery in the graveyard. So one, two, three, four. Five, six. So I got six card or six mana right now. Maybe I just play Moldratha. No, I should probably just hold up Assassin's Trophy. So we just go Risen Reef, hold up Assassin's Trophy, attack with everything. Basically, see how many lands we can we can get. That's not very many lands. The one thing I have to worry about with Agent of Treachery, honestly, is milling out. I honestly have to be worried about that. If I take three things, that is. Because it's actually a downside that the um, the second clause is a downside. But so let's see, that'd be draw six cards. If I take four things, I draw six cards. I think I can do that. Go to combat. I'm just taking their lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So actually, thirteen is just the perfect. It's just perfect. Uh, this can just recast another chupacabra anyway. I 
19. Didn't even tap the lands. But I was just going to take your other two blue lands. Ugh. Because they, they likely had a fog. So I was like taking their creature, trying to attack for lethal. Like they likely had a fog. I think it's just better just to take all their lands. Well, that was a pretty incredible game there, Hawkeye. It doesn't really get any better than that. So we might as well just pack it in, call it a night. That was about as good as it gets. Um, Vanifar probably a little slow. Play two Cavalier Thorns. I don't want to mill myself out. Yeah, I could see Quasi Duplicate going. Because we don't get to... We can't really fetch Quasi Duplicate, but... The best, the best for duplicate is like milling it over with Cavalier Thorns. So it's just in the graveyard that we get to re reuse. But yeah, like basically our game plan is like Agent of Treachery lands and then copy Agent of Treachery and take more lands. That's that's kind of our game plan. Thanks, Flame. Yeah, my I have uh, my playlist is up on Spotify. If you ever want to check it out, it's right there. Uh, <laughs> this is the problem with playing mirror image and spark double. Sometimes this happens. All right, I'm I'm not gonna mulligan the turn one land war elf hand. We're we're gonna draw unmoored ego. Okay. I was gonna say unmoored ego or risen reef here. And so we, we got it set up for turn two Ego or turn two Risen Reef. Either one. Whichever one we draw. We're drawing one of them. Hmm. Didn't actually draw either. Guess I do need another blue source for treachery. Anyway. It's fine. I want to set up so if we draw a blue source, we get to treachery next turn. Hey, Chip Factor. Thanks for joining the, the stream here. Glad you're enjoying the YouTube channel. Welcome. Whoops. 
There we go. Yeah, we got the Lanwar Elf Tribe. There are so many mystic meditate and prepare. Down, 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 down. Ugh, no blue. No blue. Well, they got basically everything set up now. <laughs> this could go better for us. Ugh. We'll be on the play for game three at least. <laughs> yeah, Llanowar Tron turn three isn't as good as Urza Tron on turn three. It turns out. Not quite as good. I do kind of like the Narset keeping me from drawing lots of cards with Agent of Treachery. That's kind of cool. On Reclamation or Ascanta? Reclamation. I'm not going to actually mill out, though, right? Card number four. <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna blast on my elves? My Lana Wartron? It's not like I can't replay him. If they if they would blast zone the land war tron, that would give me the mirror image in the graveyard that I would be able to just play the mirror image and copy the agent of treachery. <laughs> so I'm not sure if they want to be doing that. Wow. That's a jerk move. That's a jerk move. The land fights for us. Let me draw nine cards here. Oh, we only own two things. Just the Escanta and the Nissa, that's right, the Reclamation was bounced. Yeah, I mean, this deck could play a Jace, I suppose. Could. This 
see. Caesar, you have you have a Jace in this deck? Do you get to replay your Jace with Muldratha and stuff? I get to, I mean, I just put in that second um I just put in the second uh, Prime Speaker Vanifar, but I I don't hate that being a Jace instead. I don't hate that at all. Why isn't my opponent attacking? I want to chump block with my agent of treachery. Of course, we want our agent of treachery to die so we can just replay it with Muldratha. I'm glad we took their Ascanta. They would have flipped Ascanta here this turn. Yeah, I guess all the extra turn effects are rotating out, right? Because, yeah, the... Um, obviously Nexus, but then also Karn's Temporal Sundering, and then also Time Stream Navigator. I think that's it, right? So yeah, I, as far as I can think of, those are the only things that are extra turn effects. Let us have a and so they're all rotating out. Telling. Mm. Stop having these callous dismissals. To the library. Okay, they don't want to bounce. Guess they're looking for a fog. Or an excess. Chance for glory. Yeah, okay. I guess that's technically an extra turn effect. Alright, Sultai. Treachery. Picking up a win against Nexus there. Match number one. GG's. Does Metally Mage effect disappear if he gets removed from the battlefield? Correct. Yes. The effect is only lasts while it's on the battlefield. Whenever it's gone, it's no longer in effect. It's like it's like in standard here, like Nissa. Like how Nissa says that your forests tap for two green mana. But whenever Nissa's not on the battlefield, your forests don't continue to tap for two green mana. It's just like that. I think I have to get rid of the seven mana card for now. Good, we can play that. We can save Leafkin for after Reef. One of us gets to make. I may only have the one basic. Ooh, I got two basics. That was close. Again. 
If they just let us untap, which is unlikely, but we could... Yeah, I was going to say Neoform that into another Risen Reef. This is where Quasi Duplicate's at its best. Just mill it over with Cavalier Thorns. <clears throat> now we can turn the Leafkin Druid into a Cavalier Thorns. Mind and body put thoughtfulness before action. Yogmoss File Offering. That card's busted. <laughs> Such violence is upsetting. I guess this could get countered. I didn't really even... Oh my gosh, they just negated that? Honestly, I didn't really consider that getting negated whenever I was making that play. I honestly didn't. So, of course, my plan was, of course, to get Muldratha. I wasn't actually going to put that back on top. I was going to go get Muldratha... And then have Muldratha recast Risen Reef from the graveyard. Those who cannot I have just the trick for this. So they get to Vile Offering. Put like Cavalier Thorns into play for them. Five, six, seven. So I, I do get to Agent of Treachery plus Spark Double. So that's cool. Keep an open mind. <laughs> How's it possible they didn't have Turn 2 Thought Erasure? I know, right? All right, well, I don't have the mana. Don't have the mana to copy Agent of Treachery anymore. Yeah, actually, so this, this should work. So yeah, let's grab Sunken Ruin. And now take Drowned Catacomb. Yeah, I was thinking of a Spark Double, but yeah, with that Quasi-Duplicate over there. <laughs> they take the spark double? What are you doing? I have Muldratha. <laughs> Muldratha just, re just plays it. Uh, silly opponent. And then I get to I get to just like keep let them have Narset out there and just take lands and I don't have to worry about drawing nine cards. End step. <laughs> Yes, our opponent could have could have tapped Ascanta for mana and avoided that. Yes, they, they could have. They decided not to, though. All 
All right, so the copy effects are kind of rough against an opponent that's playing instant speed removal. And of course, if they're playing counter magic, then as we saw there, Neoform has some real downside as well. It's either Neoform, Quasi Duplicate, or Vanifar. I'm going to be taking out one of those three. Quasi duplicate. I like I like being able to have Vanifar like in this match that's gonna go a long time. Like our, our two we have like those seven two mana mana creatures. Um that yeah, these things. These things lose value quickly. And they just kinda you know, do kind of nothing on the battlefield. And so I really like being able to turn those into Risen Reefs. <laughs> we need a we need to bring an ego to ego there ego it shows our opponents at ninety four percent and we're at two nine four. They're 94, and we're 294. Bunch of nine, bunch of 94s. Oh, shock. Down, 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 down. Yeah, I guess so. I don't honestly care that much about that card. All right, one Risen Reef down. It's basically like how, how close you are to get, the percentage means how close you are to getting to the top um, top thousand or top twelve hundred. It's twelve hundred numbers, and then it goes to like ninety nine percent, ninety eight percent, and down. So the lower your percentage, the worse. Basically. Hmm. All right, well, they're learning. Tap the land. I know 88 will meditate and prepare. I know 88 meditate. So you don't need Immortal Sun against the control decks. I'm just fine there anyway. <laughs> yeah, we'll drop the doing stuff. We'll drop, we'll drop this just sweet.
I know, right? This deck is insane. It's so cool. Oh no, red deck. Not the red deck. We all know the red deck wins. I'm not a red deck. That means I don't win. <laughs> Thanks, Jade Vault. Gotta have Moldratha on that, that high mythic stage, for sure. Looks like we're going to game two here, though. We're not doing too much. All right. GG. Ugh, really punished. If I just don't block, just take it. We have Vanifar the next turn. I don't know exactly what we're going to do with that, but... All right, I... Just shouldn't have blocked. All right, Legion's End, Negate, Plague Mare, Chupacabra, Hostage Taker is not going in the deck. Trophies in here. Agent of Treacheries are out. Um, duplicate, Mirror Image, Spark Double, one Vanifar, and a Neoform. I don't know, this thing's still a 2-4. Two 2-4 four. Two is fine. I'm gonna play it over find. Yeah. I don't have that much top end left in my deck though. Maybe I just take out a, a druid. So we don't just flood out on mana creatures. Keep the spark double in here. I wanna be able to spark double your rock. Yeah, isn't that isn't that something cool, Hawkeye? Spark double your rock. Yeah, I mean, I dump block there. We're like, you know, taking a whole lot of damage. I play the two four. I take a whole lot more damage. Then I play a five six. Uh, I would say that the mono red like this is is probably between like five to ten percent of the meta game. Maybe a little closer to five. I would, I would guess like six or seven percent. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm going to be cutting land whirls. No, no, even, yeah. Land whirls are good. Land whirls speed up the deck. And against Monterey, you got to be fast. Obviously, the problem with land war elves is chain whirler. But whatever. I have so many cards that are bad against Chain Whirler. Chain Whirler just busted. So we want to find your rock because now we have, you know, we'd have negate back up to go along with your rock. That'd be the best. I wouldn't mind a cavalier or anything else like that too, though. Did I keep finding the deck? I think I took find out. 
which I am now completely regretting. All right, note to self, keep fine finality in against red. Note to self. Kind of forgot about Ferocidon also. So yeah, with Chain Whirlers, Ferocidons. Yeah, I, I now remember fine finality being awesome here. And are just taking lethal. That puts us down to seven. Block, block. It's still seven. All right, we're going to have more than just a Risen Reef to beat Mono Red. I mean, I, I did, you know, bump it up. You know, I had the three Legion's Ends, but I also bumped it up to four Chupacabra. So, you know, we, you know, Chupacabras are so good against um, those three drops, like Chain Whirler and, and Ferocidon, you know, just killing them for four mana, getting a 2-2 two -two also to help trade with the little creatures. Chupacabra is awesome in that matchup. <laughs> yep. Yeah, YouTube channel doesn't get the music. So yeah, it's, I know it's, it's a little more quiet on the YouTube channel. So I understand watching it in like one and a half speed. You know, some people like doing that. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, there will be that 12 win event. That's going to be after Throne of Eldraine, right? It's going to be best of one. So yeah, we'll see. I'm kind of thinking mono green. Just get, give me some Vivian Arcbow Ranger and Questing Beast. Get some aggro, just attack people, best of one there. We can do this. Reef into Choop, into Neoform Choop, into Yurok. We can do this. Yeah, we don't have like the two drop or, you know, or the, um, Uh, we don't have the Land War Elf to, you know, go Land War Elf into Risen Reef. We haven't seen Land War Elf in a while. Remember that game one against our very first game? Here, that game one against Nexus. That was incredible. Turn one Elf, turn two Reef, turn three your Rock, turn four we played like Cavalier and like a bunch of other stuff. So it looks like gates where Choops can can take down like some Rams or Golos. They're probably thinking, do I use Gates of Blaze on a single reef? Oh yeah, then yeah, then we had Land War Elf Tron after that. That's that's right. Where's our lands at? Really glad we kept the Woodland Cemetery on top earlier. I'm not sure.
Yeah, I guess it's Prime. Vanifar Prime. Ugh. They're tempting me to play the Yurok, but then they get to activate Golos if I play Yurok. So I could just choop. Land drops. Land drops. Okay, where's the lands at? Finally. Oh, finally. All right, so it, I don't think this is Gates. <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about Gates of Blaze. <laughs> they played their land first before activating Golos? Seriously? Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, so... Yeah, we just... Yeah, we just slam Agent of Treachery, right? We just say, take this thing and that thing. Definitely consider just taking the red source. Just going red source, field of the dead, instead of taking Golos. I don't want them to be able to go time wipe and pick Golos back up, though. Yeah, I just had another Golos. Let me neoform. I was gonna go get spark double. Have spark double copy agent of treachery. They don't even let me do it. Don't even let me do it. So let's see. This is a matchup with this deck that I haven't played that much. I remember last time we played against this, I talked about that too, where I don't really exactly know what I want to do. You know, like, I don't think I want to just slam tons of Legion's Ends in, but it's like, I gotta have like one. I don't want like tons of them. Like, it's like Negate, Veil of Summer. I don't know. What are we doing? What are we doing? I thought Chupacabra was pretty important there. You know, gotta kill Golos. It could be that I was supposed to trim down on Cavalier Thorns to try to help help not deck. I'll play one negate. We have the we have the one Legion's End, the one negate, just to get him. 
don't need a bunch of them. Maybe I'm supposed to play a Veil of Summer. But I feel like they're time wiping. I don't know, this could go down in flames. <sighs> Who knows? Turn to Risen Reef. All right, Risen Reef. It's time for you to shine. Risen Reef. Risen Reef. Risen Reef. Risen Reef. Risen Reef. So we'll have Vanifar next turn, and then Vanifar will turn Leafkin Druid into Risen Reef. There it is. Never didn't have it. I know, I know, JRC, I know, I, same thing, I bought the extra levels at the beginning too, and now it just doesn't, doesn't matter, yeah, they're just giving out all these free levels, and, yeah. They didn't play any land last turn, besides just the one they got from Rejuvenator. Uh, I don't like seeing the white mana. Kind of to see what happens here. I don't even have black mana right now. I mean, you're cool, Muldratha, but I don't have black mana. I got enough other mana without the land war elves. I can of course buy back land war elves also with fine finality. But the thing is, is, is again, yeah, I don't really want them, you know, to be able to like time wipe. You know, I'm I am worried about time wipe. Don't let them just pick up Rejuvenator. Here, bud. All right, so I guess they have Veil of Summer, right? Like they have to. Yeah, you know, like last turn they played the Rejuvenator, keep a green up, and like played slowly.
All right, we're gonna need to draw a lot more cards. What's up, Yurok? That'll work. Speaking of working, I like that negate. Um. I think I just passed turn. I mean, I could, I could just go get another Risen Reef. But then I don't have Negate up. Does that matter? I don't need Negate up. Do I? Maybe I do. If they go Time Wipe, am I countering it? Is the main question. That is a draw six. Draw six is pretty good. Um, we'd only be able to take two non-lands, of course, before we're ditching them. Yeah, next turn we have Agent of Treachery and Mirror Image on Agent of Treachery. So that's three permanents they don't own. So if we just take two lands and then all zombies, the zombies won't trigger Agent of Treachery. I can also sac I can also just sacrifice an Agent of Treachery to Vanifar. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I was going to sack one of the Agent of Treacheries. That's what I was going to do with Vanifar there. Probably the mirror image one. And then we would just draw three cards. And then the next turn, I could sack your rock and go get Moldratha and then replay mirror image. For another agent treachery if I wanted, or you know, 
we'd have three more cards. We'd probably have a lot of stuff to do. All right, we're three and one. One more match tonight. Are we getting close to top 100? Yeah, this deck's sweet. So many cool lines. Maybe I should put a Jason instead of that second Vanifar. Because that's like all we've been worried about is not not uh, dying. Only 279? Weren't we just like 200 something right before that win? Do we just not even move up with that win there? What's that all about? Rude. Does anybody want to hit like the? Is anybody who's watching on PC? Can go see what what you know. Just go to like the video. Go to go see what uh, number we were before. You must play a game this season to receive your season rewards. That's weird. I don't know why that's a declarative statement there. I'm down to twelve. Your rock does not have lifelink. If I shock, play your rock, I go down to nine. I could double block for Ossidon, though, at that point. We get the four triggers, or two triggers. Oh, uh, we were 426 last time. Must have just been earlier that we were up higher. I guess I got to give them a land and kill this Ferocidon. That means they get to start playing Ripjaw Raptors, though. That's just how life is. Why would you want to tap a blue source? If I waited another turn, I could have Vanifard and... I probably should Vanifar here. Because Vanifar means I get to go get Chupacabra. Chupacabra seems really important against the dinosaur deck. Like Chupacabra, your rock. It's pretty crazy. We're down to six. It's probably fine, though. All right, play this first. Get these Resident Reef triggers first. Would not like to shock. I guess I could have just gotten rid of all my chupacabras with that though. That was a little risky. We got rid of two chupacabras. I was just going to mirror image the Choop and just wipe their board. 
Okay, I was at 216, then I lost and went down to 426, and now we won, and so now we're back up to 270, whatever. Okay, cool. So that's I was one match off there. All right, removal, Legion's End, Chupacabra, Hostage Taker, Trophy, Ceratops Trades. Hmm. All right, so we'll take out the Vanifars. Should probably cut this other Agent of Treachery. I don't know. Maybe I just don't play the hostage shakers. All right, here we go. All right, Chief. Have a good night. Here we go, see if we can finish out this 4-1. Ooh, we need to draw land. There we go, there we go. We're getting there. <laughs> and this is why I like Legion's End. That Marauding Raptor is so good. I know, Hawkeye, it's so good. Oh, that's a pretty loaded hand over there. Ow. All right, more lands, more lands. Love it. This Vivian Arcbow Ranger I'm, I'm really worried about. Veil of Summer. So they get to go like Domri plus Ferocid on here. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of violence now and then. We are the men. Right, just gonna fight. They can do that too. I don't really know what the point of that is. Still gonna kill their thing anyway. Pretty sure I'd rather have Ferocity on in play if I'm the opponent. Oh my gosh. What a draw. That's just lethal. What a draw. Yeah, I, I was assuming they were just going to play Ferocidon kind of thing and like pass, and I was going to just steal Domri and then, you know, kill the Ferocidon.
All right, playing one hostage taker over that mirror image. All right, this is a pretty nerve-wracking game three here. Can't keep the one lander. Why do I have to have all shock lands? <laughs> it's gotta be only shock lands. That was a really good Legion's End. Graft Digger's Cage? But... What are they, what are they doing with the Graft Digger's Cage? Uh, of course they drew the land. This is going to be a difficult game to win if they if they just keep drawing lands and curve out. They need to give me some time. All right, that was very good for us. Good turn. Yeah, I mean, I guess it stops Moldratha. I guess it does that. No! Ugh. <laughs> and then, of course, we got Moldratha. Okay. Oh, there's some good cards in there. So we can't cast... Creature cards can't enter from graveyards. Can't cast spells in graveyards. So we can play lands in graveyards. Wait, I don't even have a land in the graveyard, though, do I? Yeah, I mean, Cage, Cage is coming up clutch here. What? How are they shocking Risen Reef now after I get the trigger with Moldratha? <laughs> Why did they sack it or kill it in response? I mean, I got that free scry land that scryed another land to the bottom. I just got like a draw two there. And they're not playing Monstrosaur. So they gotta have they gotta have Vela Summer, right? Like they wanted to hold up Vela Summer. So yeah, I'm, I'm attacking here. They can't... Um, how do I do this? Auto-assign combat damage? No. Okay, good. I do not want my combat damage auto-assigned. Thank you. Do all five. 
If I do all five to the Spellbreaker, I don't want them getting a free card off Ripjaw Raptor. Um... All right, so now we get trophies. We can trophy the, the Graph Digger's Cage, and then I can start playing stuff with Muldratha. Oh, I'm <clears> gonna <throat> love tearing this place to the ground. Don't kill my Muldratha, please. Please don't kill my Muldratha. I get out of the way. Oh yeah, we're assuming they have Vela Summer, aren't we? I guess that's a huge problem if they do have Vela Summer. I guess that is a huge problem. Oh, I I just talked about how they have Vela Summer. Literally just talked about that. So I could have gotten Risen Reef to draw another card. This, yeah, this is our last game anyway. Mm. Looks like my opponent just kind of drew better than me. Drawing that Vivian where I've drawn nothing for a long time here now. I've just drawn lands and land war elf for a long time. Well, I couldn't take your like your rock does does absolutely nothing. There's no reason to take your rock. Just keep drawing spells. That's such lifelink. I mean, it also just dies to Vivian. Oh, that didn't even kill Ripjaw? What am I doing? I'm just thinking the six. No, we didn't draw well this game, but yeah, it's just surprisingly... Yeah, we drew, like, surprisingly poorly. Um, for, you know... We were, like, so far ahead there. And then we we drew Moldratha and then a bunch of garbage after Moldratha. But that you know, like at the time I was like, oh, what is this Grafter's Gauge gonna do? It's like, oh, it shuts down my one Moldratha. But then of course we immediately draw that Moldratha. And then just a bunch of lands and mana creatures after that, just a bunch of just a bunch of garbage. But my opponent found Vivian. I mean, we still had that down until the Vivian. He's... So yeah, I mean I Vivian Arpo Ranger is just so so good. We got to see that there in action. Uh, how how good that card was. Um, they did play like their last card was Assassin or was um, their last card was Veil of Summer. Unfortunately, it actually was Veil of Summer. That's that's how they were playing like it was. If it wasn't, we were gonna win that game. Yeah, that Grave Digger's Cage was really clutch versus Moldrotha because. If we got to if we got to trophy 
the Graft Digger's Cage and blow it up, then I was going to be able to play Agent of Treachery and steal Vivian, and that game was over if we steal Vivian there. Um, so yeah, that was, that, was, that was pretty unfortunate that we just got taken down real hard by Graft Digger's Cage and then, you know, like five or six draw steps in a row of drawing nothing. Um, so that hurt also, but that's how magic goes. That's how magic goes. So I ended up 3-2 there. Uh, yeah. Both of our losses pretty close. But oh well. Natural, again, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub there. Uh, for those of you on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this deck. Hope you enjoyed all the decks today. We played a lot of, you know, we played four good decks up there in Mythic. Uh, had good records today. You know, ranked up. We, we started the day at like 1,100. Got up, we're at like 500 now, so you know, uh, did good, did good, get up a good 500 spots there. Um, but yeah, that's it for Soul Tide Treachery. So if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Hope you check out all the other videos again as well. Feel free to leave some comments too. I always like the comments in the channel. But thank you so much for watching Soul Tide Treachery, and I'll see you for the next video.